Hey everyone, Angelo Mantos, BehindTheVault.net. Today we're gonna give you five tips on how to save money for Thanksgiving. Before we go Behind the Vault, I wanna start off by saying thank you. Thank you for all the support over the last year. Thank you for everyone that's been watching the videos, commenting, the emails, the, the messages we've been getting. The support has been fantastic and we're looking forward to going into year two. Let's go Behind the Vault. So today we're going to talk about five ways to save a little bit of money when it comes to Thanksgiving. So number one, make a specific list and create a budget that goes with it. When it comes to all your Thanksgiving decorations, meal planning, whatever you're going to spend, make sure you budget for it because it's so easy to get out of control, especially for the fact that we've been cooped up for so long that now, you know, you get out to a store and be like, oh, I want this and I want this. At the end of the day, you gotta just keep that budget tight. Number two, manage the meal. Whether you go potluck or you do it all yourself, you've got to manage the meal. The meal is the centerpiece and the focal point of your Thanksgiving dinner. Some people will do the potluck and some people will do it all themselves. So let's talk about both. If you're going down the road of potluck, and that's what we've been doing for years and years, you know, hosting Thanksgiving, I'm gonna take care of the meat and I'm gonna take care of the booze. And then I'm gonna get everybody else to bring the rest. But I don't just say, hey guys, just bring something. Cause the next thing you know, I've got seven types of potatoes, no salad, no veggies, and no dessert. We get jump onto a group email or everybody will jump in. Okay, I'm gonna bring potatoes. I'm gonna bring the dessert. I'm gonna bring the salad. And you wanna manage that. You wanna make sure that all the areas of the meal are hit. So when you're making your list, put down what you want in the meal and then say, okay guys, here's the meal, here's what we need. I'm taking care of the meat and the booze. Who's got, who's got what? Okay, now, if you're going to do it yourself, again, understand that you can get out of control with this. And remember, it's one meal, it's one meal. So unless you're going to graze throughout the whole day and do the meal early and allow people to continue to eat, maybe you're gonna watch football or you know, maybe you guys are gonna you know, do a fun family activity and then come back and you know, eat a little bit more, understand that a lot of food can go to waste. So make sure you keep that menu nice and tight. One potato, one salad, one dessert, or maybe two desserts, okay? And make sure you bake some cookies or somebody should. Number three, Choose one meat and let that be the focal point of your meal. And make sure you get just enough that you don't have leftovers for weeks and weeks. Not everybody likes turkey, that's okay. We're gonna do lamb. And I'm gonna make sure we get just enough so that the meat doesn't really go to waste and I'm not eating you know, sandwiches and leftovers for the next two years, right? So just make sure you have enough. Choose one meat that becomes the focal point and manage the, the amount. And by the way, if you've got people at your Thanksgiving dinner that don't eat meat, they're vegetarian or vegan, make sure you have an option for them. Number four, take advantage of coupons, promotions, sales, and price matching. So important. If you've racked up a lot of PC points, maybe you start using some of those points. If you are at a grocery store and somewhere else has it cheaper, there are apps you can download that will tell you, hey, you can get that milk cheaper, you can get those eggs cheaper, and those stores will price match. Keep that in mind. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time and effort, but you know what? You can. It's, it's cheaper, number one, than driving from store to store to store to store to find the best price. And number two, why should you give your money away? It doesn't make sense. So take the five minutes or 10 minutes you know, to price match everything before you go, be organized. And then when you go, you know, start with your price match items, please, when you're checking out at the grocery store, put that extra money in your pocket. Number five, maybe choose another day. See, what I've learned over the past year and a half is that it's less about the day and more about the people you spend it with, right? I'll, I'll tell you personally, I've struggled with the, the thought of Thanksgiving, you know, living in Canada and with what's happened over the course of the summer, you know, but I think Thanksgiving has sort of evolved 
um, into a holiday that's more about friends, family, community. Any excuse to get together with friends or family and break bread and laugh and tell stories and just be together. I mean, that's the stuff we remember. You know what? I got one more bonus tip for you. Be careful when it comes to decorations for the fall. Understand that you can go and spend tons of money on all these decorations. My advice when it comes to fall decorations is number one, go slow. Go slow, get one or two things this year, one or two things next year, one or two things the year after. After 10 years, you're gonna have like 20 things that you can put up. Number two, try and find neutral or holiday neutral decorations. So rather than a big sign on your door that says, happy Thanksgiving, how about just a wreath for the fall? You can put it up in October and that can last you right until December. Uh, so another thing too is if you've got kids, get them involved. Let them draw, let them cut, let them create, and let's get them becoming artistic and showing their creative size. I hope you and your family have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you celebrate it or you don't, it's a great excuse on the long weekend just to get together. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, pop those down below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and you've been behind the vault.